Hello and welcome back to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. And this video will be discussing a little bit more on the roof tools. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've drawn a simple little house here and uh, I've got the 3D viewer open on it so we can kind of watch it as we go. I'm going to go to the roof tools and click it one time and up pops my build roof specifications and I'm just going to build the roof and it automatically generates a hip roof around the house. I think we've seen that before. But in this case, what I'd like to do is I'd like to gable this end and then this end as well as this end. And so I want to run a gable all the way across the house and then this one coming off of that gable coming to the garage. So I'm going to show you how the best way to set that scenario up is and you can kind of use this philosophy for all your models. It's really simple. So I'm going to assign this wall, I'm going to click it, open it, go to its roof tab, and choose it a full gable. And then I'm going to assign this wall to be a full gable as well. Open it up, full gable. Now if I generate right now, it'll throw a full gable here and here, but not here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and see what it does. So I got my gable here and here, but I didn't get one on this side. I do want one on this side. So the best way to do that is to, and there are actually many ways to do it, but <clears throat> for this example, what I'd like to do is I'd like to, now that I've raced it, assign this wall to be a full gable. Now, not the entire wall, because I don't want this gable to stretch from here to here. So I'm going to use the cut tool, and I'm going to cut the wall right at the corner there. And now I have two walls that I could select. So I'm going to select this wall, open it up, choose it for full gable, and now I think I'm ready to run the gables correctly. Click OK, and sure enough, there we go. So easy enough, you're assigning the size and the direction of the wall towards the gable end or hip end that you wish to receive. OK, so let's take a few other examples of what we can do. There's also the option where, and I'll scroll into this door here, if I select this door, I have gable over door slash window tool pop up and if I click on it I'll notice it appears a gable line and this gable line has now been assigned to this door so when I generate the roof it'll generate a small gable over the door I can also manually do this let's go ahead and do that we can go down to our tools and gable roof line and not getting too close to the wall or too far away from the eave we just want to click drag and let go to the distance we want across our window. And why don't we put a nice big one over here. We'll go right from there to there. So there we go. And I might be too far away with the gable align there, but I think I'll be okay. I'm just gonna give it a try now. So now let's uh, generate our roof. Go to the roof building. Click OK. And sure enough, there we go. And if we zoom in, we'll notice that when we ended the line, that's where it intersects and cuts through the plate height of the house. So we can kind of see from our example here exactly what we did. Bada boom, bada bing. So pretty easily with Chief Architect, you can accomplish these gable roofs quite easily and quite quickly by either assigning the wall to be a gable or actually using a gable tool. You can also just click the window or dual door and it has it built in. Now if there's one already assigned, of course, that gives you an X because it assumes you want to delete it. Okay, that's been Messing with Gable Roofs here at ChiefTutor.com.